In the video one, we have seen about a series DC excited circuit. Now we'll see the parallel DC excited circuit. So uh, let me take three resistances in parallel with each other and with a DC source. Let let us take firstly the resistances. So by clicking on it, you can find the resistances by the uh, in the, in the resistors column. So let me take the resistance uh, 2 ohms and then 3 ohms and then uh, maybe I'll take for 4 ohms 4 ohms okay and then I need the basic supply so let me go for the sources and the DC power and the DC voltage so let me take the DC voltage here and I need also the ground so I'll take the ground also okay now I'll close this so now I'll connect by left click on it I'll connect to the resistance R1 and the resistance R2 is connected to the circuit resistance R3 is also connected to the same circuit and then the similar fashion I'll connect to the resistance R2 and resistance R3 other end of the circuit and the negative terminal of the circuit is connected either to here I can connect or I can connect here so in uh, let me connect properly so I'll connect like this way so this ground is connected here now my main aim is see this voltage either you can connect here or you may connect to this point both are same okay so whatever the point position you want to connect you can connect now my main aim is I want to find out voltage across R1 voltage across R2 voltage across R3 so for this firstly I'll take the tectronic scope oscilloscope so with this tectonic scope oscilloscope probe 1 I'll connect here probe 2 I'll connect here and probe 3 I'll connect here and the ground I am connecting uh, since these are all all connected common I can connect ground here okay these all are connected now if I want to find out the current here just I need to take the multimeter and put it here and multimeter is all means I mean this is uh, since this is a multimeter I'm using as ammeter so I need to connect this ammeter in series with the circuit so let me take the positive terminal of this circuit here and the negative terminal of the circuit here okay now let me uh, switch on I mean let me run the simulation by pressing F5 once I press F5 you can you can notice that the simulation might be running here you can notice that the simulation might be running here so if you want to find out the value of the current so go for A so here the current is 6 amperes of current that is flowing through it and you can even find out the voltage by double clicking on it so for maximizing uh, this thing just power on this one and go for auto set since I have connected 3 you can see channel 1 channel 2 and channel 3 so they have taken channel 1 as 50 volts channel 2 as 50 volts and channel 3 as 50 volts each division so you can find out the voltage here and each and every uh, instant but you can go and find out the value now switch out the circuit close it and stop it and sometimes you may need to know for variable resistances okay for variable resistance in the sense suppose if I want to change the resistance to 2.2 ohms yes I can change it to 2.2 ohms I can run the circuit again and I can find the value of the current here again so means by simply seeing that I mean I can increase 2.4 I can check the current so see whenever you are increasing the resistances automatically the current is reducing 
the current is getting reduced you can observe here 4.76 so the current is gradually decreasing that is how you can see also instead of this you can go for another uh, uh, kind of resistance also like variable resistances delete here and go to basics in the basics go to variable resistances go, go with variable resistance of 1 kilo ohms or you can say 10 ohms you can go basically for instance I am telling ok then close it and connect this uh, terminal I mean wire with the help now you can check the uh, current here how much current is going and whenever I am increasing the value of the resistances ok you can automatically see how much the current is changing here if I increase more value of resistances the current is changing here this is how you can place your variable resistance also into the circuit and you can find the values